What is going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I let you all know on Twitter that I was feeling sick for the last few days and inconvenient timing, it happened around Christmas and by the way, rest in peace George Michael, really sad, fucked up time to die. I mean it's, it's, it's so sad in general, you know, not him passing away at any other time wouldn't have made the situation any better, but it being on Christmas is even worse man, so rest in peace to that man. But I've been out of it guys and it's kind of hurt me in a sense because there are a lot of videos that I wanted to do earlier but I didn't get the chance to because I was busy coughing up phlegm and I had fucking SARS and shit. But now we are back in action and there's one thing that I got to tell you, my Christmas holiday season was amazing. I spent it with loved ones, had a good time and hopefully you did so too. Even if Christmas isn't your forte or anything that you celebrate. I'm hoping that you spent the time with close ones. The holiday season, regardless of your beliefs, is still a warm, mushy, gushy type of feeling. You know what I mean? So hopefully you did that. In regards to the Christmas presents, there's some stuff that was revealed recently that I think I want under my motherfucking tree. And it's already past Christmas, but I might have to take this one back a little bit. Because guys, if there's one thing that you all know, I have two waifu, two current waifu, all right? I got the Red Robin, and then I got the barefoot dragon wife with that Kamui, man. And yo, here's the thing. Remember Smash Brothers, how they said, oh yeah, you're going to be getting the Korin Amiibo soon. Most likely not even the female one. But they said, yeah, Korin Amiibo is going to be coming out soon. We haven't seen any of that yet. But we don't, we don't need the Amiibo. We don't need the Amiibo, boys. Because apparently there are two different kinds of Korin slash Kamui figurines that have just been revealed. And they look amazing. Everyone on Twitter has sent me this. I probably got notified about this like 500 times easy people obviously know that i'm gonna lose my shit about this so i had to make a separate video on it now here's the thing these figurines we got information about them earlier but i figured that i would wait until more pictures are out there so that way i can really see if it's something that i can get behind the only problem i'm having is where the fuck do i pre-order it from there's a bunch of websites but you need to see how they look first because the barefoot waifu is yeah Perfect for him, my nigga. No, fuck the male corn. We don't need that nigga. He's such a bitch. Fuck that nigga. Maybe I'll like him more when I finish Fates, which is never. But I mean, hey, I don't know who made this shit. I don't give a fuck who made it. All I'm saying is that it looks dope. And I'm not... Here's the thing, guys. I'm not an anime figurine collector kind of guy. I mean, I have the Noctis figurine from the Final Fantasy XV Collector's Ultimate Big Dick Edition. But I don't really collect figurines like that. That's not really my style. I mean, you may see the barefoot waifu behind me in that poster. But I'm not really a big anime um, memorabilia collector or whatever. But I'll buy this. I'll put this on display right behind me, man. Just because. Just because it's the Smash Brothers main. And plus, it's one of my favorite designs in a Fire Emblem. No, in, a, in an anime character, period. Big shout out to Mark Ryan Alport for sharing this with me. Like I said, a bunch of people did. But he was the first for this figurine type. But there, like I said, there's two of them. Two barefoot waifu figurines. Different styles, man. This, this, this shit is crazy. It's like my Christmas happened after Christmas, nigga. Like, god damn. Ho, 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 nigga. I've already seen it. I've looked at it. I'm not gonna lie, man. I mean, obviously, the excitement. How could I not? Well, this is being hosted on the Good Smile Company. But I've seen a plethora. A plethora. I said plethora. <laughs> plethora of different websites that host this so maybe this is one you can pre-order it from I don't want to throw my pre-order anywhere that I don't trust so maybe I'll wait till Amazon has it, but that probably will never happen I guess I'm gonna have to bite the bullet at some point but I want to buy this ASAP we don't need to read the description why do we need a description for you dudes just need to see this thing in all of its full screen glory so let's take a look at this right here let me see if I can let's get a zoom in real quick look at how well done it is and one other thing that I wanted to kind of put focus on is her facial expression if you know the look at the look at the is my nigga this is so real this is so legit you can actually pose it bro you can put her like like you know how when she does the side b the dragon pin and then she does the kick after i bet you could do a pose where she's doing the kick and she's mid she's in mid air flying with it that would be so badass i don't know why people don't love this character more she's a mix of a whole bunch of shit a martial arts fighter a dragon a goddamn knight it's like the it's like fire emblem literally said okay let's just mix the three most popular anime categories a, a swordsman a fucking dragon and, and and why not a magician on top of it all and then a martial artist and they put it all into one character I, i'm just telling you right now if you don't feel the barefoot waifu you're fucking tripping but my nigga look at these poses that you can do with this thing and apparently it comes with like a dragon stone, so that way it kind of looks so, it looks so badass! I want this so bad, man! My Christmas, my Christmas will be complete with this goddamn figurine. I don't know how much it cost, I mean, it probably is the price right here. Let me calm down for a second. Let me be rational 
and see what the details of this are so I can give you guys uh, a breakdown of this with me not losing my fucking mind. How much would it be to pre-order this thing? Pre-orders will be open from the 26th of December until January 26th. All right, so we have a little bit of time if we want to get it from this particular website. Oh my God, look at this, bro. Look at this. And she even has the Yato. Wait, well, we saw that in the other pictures too. But the different poses you can do. That is so amazing, man. Yo, I, I, can't, I can't believe how good this looks. These guys did an amazing job. Even though, one thing I'll tell you for a fact, I'm not really that big of a fan of seeing the joints in the characters. I know the higher end figurines, they usually are able to put like mendable plastic over the joint so that way it all looks like a smooth figure and you don't really see like the creases where they would normally bend themselves but I mean this still looks great when I saw the Noctis figurine had that I was like Square Enix could have done better put the, put the covering over the joints but seeing the barefoot wife like this nigga I don't give a fuck <laughs> this still looks awesome this still looks so good my boy this is a Joy-Con boys treat right here and this is only one of the figurines we have another one maybe I should have showed you guys the other one first but this was the more serious version and now we have the chibi version i think that's how you say it we have the chibi version and this one was first shown to me by emerald world emerald well shout out to you my man thank you for putting me on to this you were the first person to show me this figurine in action and this is the nendoroid corin this one was called the figma corin and we have now the nendoroid corin so let's see i didn't look at this one in full detail but i definitely would want to do so on camera with you guys i don't think it has all the bending features as the other um figma corin does or, or does it it does have the bending features look at how good this looks my nigga let's get this full screen look at that shit this is so Adorable, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I can't do it. <laughs> Anime girls with white hair for me. Nigga, that's a plus one. That's a plus one, my nigga. We them boys, my boy. We the motherfucking boys. But look at how amazing this figurine looks. And you can put it into different poses, too. So that's just a huge plus. For some reason, the Yato blade looks more like a Shmintar. How do you say it? A Shmintar? I don't know how to, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Or a Falcon. I, I suck at this shit. But yo... It's so fucking adorable, man. These are definitely must-haves if you're a Fire Emblem fan in general. And if you loved Fates, then this is definitely a purchase that is a must-have. You cannot bypass this and call yourself a Fire Emblem Fates fanboy. I'm telling you that shit right now. And this one comes with a Dragonstone too. The most adorable shit I've ever seen. And I'm glad to see Corrin get some love. You know, Corrin doesn't really have too, uh, what should I say? The, the reception of Korn wasn't too great from the Smash Brothers reveal because everyone was expecting different characters and for this person to be in, you remember how outraged niggas were, right? You could not tell people that it wasn't a wasted slot, but seeing her in action now, I think everyone's gotten over it. Same thing with Dark Pit back in the day, right? But this is a great time for this because people will actually appreciate this. Fire Emblem's been out for a year now, a lot of people have played it, they like the series, Fates was a fucking blockbuster title. So I think this could get a lot of sales potentially, and it's around Christmas holiday season, my nigga. I know I'm picking up both of these figurines. They shouldn't be that expensive. I mean, I didn't even get to see the price on the Figma one, but it cannot be that bad. These poses are so good. And then you got the motherfucking Dragon Fang pose with the goddamn Dragon Fang shot. My nigga, this is so insane. I cannot believe how good these look. I don't even know if there's a male version of this, but being real with you, I don't fucking care. We got the barefoot waifu in the fucking flesh right here, nigga. This is so awesome. Guys, I'm going to leave links to all this stuff in the description so you can pick up one of these figurines for yourself. I'm not sure where they list the price for this shit. I mean, I don't even see where the pre-order button is. Maybe I'm a little bit too elevated on hype right now to pay attention the way I should. But hey, I'm not trying to pre-order it on camera or anything like that. I'm just showing you dudes what my initial reaction is to these amazing figurines, the poses that you can put them in, and giving you the information so you can potentially pick one up for yourself, or if not, at least admire them from afar. You will be seeing these in the background of my videos very soon. Best believe guaranteed on your nutsack. And by the way, guys, before we end, the Joy-Con Boy shirts, I planned on making a separate video to showcase them. I only really got to talk about them in a live stream video. So, I mean, it wasn't really too um, direct. And the campaign's about to end because I kind of fucked up and I didn't really um, make it for too long. So I'm probably going to make another campaign after this one. But if you do want to pick up the Joy-Con Boy shirts, my dudes... I'm going to open this shit up for you right now. But the Nintendo Switch event coming up, right? This is obviously going to be an amazing way for you to show up at the event. And there could be potentially other people there that have the shirt as well. I didn't get a chance to properly advertise it. But once I make the new campaign, I will do so. 
I, I cannot wait for the event to happen because this means that when I show up in New York, if I see my other niggas there, we gotta do photo ops. I cannot wait. Nintendo's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's gonna be so badass. So if you do, do want to pick up one of these things, um, you can check them out in the description. Like I said, don't worry about the whole um, don't worry about the whole two days left thing. My dumbass, and I got sick, man. I told you I caught Ebola, so I wasn't able to like broadcast it. But you know, you can still pick it up. You don't have to feel like it's forced or rushed or anything like that. Anyways, dudes, thank you for tuning into this video. And you gotta let me know if you are picking up the barefoot waifu figurines that have just recently been available for pre-order. And if you're not gonna buy those, which Fire Emblem character would you prefer to see done by Figma or by the other company that did the chibi version? Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I will talk to you all in the next video. And by the way, thank you to all the new subscribers that I recently had. There's been a bunch of you guys jumping on board. I'm very appreciative of that. Hopefully you all get entertained for the future to come. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. We them boys.